Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and it's Friday Night Live. I don't get to say that very much anymore, but it's Friday Night Live because I used to be on Fridays and I switched to Thursdays because of football games. But here we are, it's Friday Night Live and I hope y'all are gonna hop on and come craft and chat with me. If you're watching replay, thank you for watching. Um, we're gonna do something with a piece of material that we've already used before for something else. So we're gonna use the rest of it for this craft. And I really hope, oh, there's comments, yay. Hey, Lori, hey, Lori. Um, so I'm ready to have fun on this Friday night, holiday weekend. Hey, Susanna, there's my niece, Susanna. Hey, Lena, how are you? And I need a pen. So this might be end up being kind of a long craft, but we're gonna see. Um, so while I'm chit-chatting and talking, I'm going to kind of start prepping a little bit um, so y'all can c count how many baby wipes I'm going to go through because it's probably going to be a lot. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Debbie. Um, <clears throat> and I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to use this. Hey, DD. Maybe we can work something out. So I got to message you back. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Barney from Brenham, Texas. Hey, Lori. This is raw umber. Y'all know there's burnt umber and there's traditional burnt umber and there's all different kinds of umbers. <laughs> this is raw umber. I kind of did me a little paint swatch out here so I would kind of know what it looks like on wood. So that's how I got my color. Hey, Barb. Hey, Marilyn. Hey, Dina. So we are gonna work with this paper. I got like three layers of paper on my table cause I'm gonna have to move it because we gotta do a lot of painting. Um, oh, hey Lisa, you had a, I hope you had a wonderful vacation. Hey Danielle um, from Knoxville. Hey Sissy, hey Wanda. Yeah, you watched Mandy, my friend. She made an adorable milk can. Y'all, Mandy is so talented when it comes to painting and doing painting techniques and putting all that rustic stuff together. She is like the, the, she is, she is it when it comes to that. And it just amazes me. Hey Linda, I miss all of y'all too. I just <clears throat> had something come up and I just was like, well, I guess I'll just have to move it to Friday. Hey Mary. Oh good, Arlene, you went and saw Elvis. It was so good, wasn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna be using um, canvas from the uh, Dollar Tree. I'm stumbling with my words, y'all. I can't even talk. Hey, B, how are you? Um, hey, Dana, and there's Teresa. Thank you. I just said it's hat night tonight. Um, this is a five by seven and canvas, and I have already taken off the canvas part because um, that would have been too much because I'm doing four of these. And I've already kind of sanded them. And all I did was I just nailed in the staples really well. Because I wasn't going to wor worry about all that, pulling them out and all that stuff. Hey, Patty. Hey, Terry. So I'm just going to take some of my paint while we're talking. And I'm just going to start um, staining them. Hey, Sandra and Jill. Hey to everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Hey, Donna. So we are going to, um, I'm going to actually make two sizes of what I'm making. Oh, Judy, you're sweet, but I know, but sometimes, you know, life happens and nothing was wrong. It's just, I had several things going on at once and, you know, you got teenage boys and, um, all that stuff going on and it's like something, you know, I just had to, I had to just move it. <laughs> Sandra, it was. So if y'all didn't see Mandy, um, she's my business friend. She has Western Grace Home Decor. Western Grace Home Decor. And um, she just did this cute little milk can and she gave a little template with her milk can. Um, so you can use the template too. All that good stuff. She did all that. Hey, Judy. Thank you, Kelly. Y'all are so sweet but this is gonna be a messy one for me because I'm probably gonna have this brown all over me to my elbows and everything else. Um, Bonnie, I didn't. I just used it straight out of the bottle. So I just, um, hey Patricia from Michigan. I just used it straight out of the bottle and I'm using a baby wipe. So that kind of waters it down just a little bit. Um, 
So I'm just kind of getting in all of these little, uh, hey Donna, hey Elizabeth, that's right. Life just happens sometimes and I'm a mom and a wife and all that stuff too. So, you know, sometimes it just happens. I don't like it too. I don't like it when that happens, but because um, I don't like to cancel out on my crafting and with y'all and, but I know y'all understand. Hey, Sandy. Yay, Janie, you're here. Friday night used to be my night to craft. Um, and I had to switch it because my son plays football on Friday night. So I switched it to Thursdays. So here I am. All right, so I got one done. Like I said, I'm gonna sit here and talk to y'all and do all of these. Rhonda Wright, her crazy sidekick. Um, so anyway, good evening, Penny and Jenny. Penny and Jenny, Penny and Jenny. <laughs> and Joyce. Oh, thank you, Joyce. I appreciate that. Believe it or not, I, I have people stop me in public and tell me that too. And I'm like, oh no. Hey, Tanya, how are you? There's Tanya. Okay, so I'm just, um, like I said, I'm just putting, this is raw umber. It's not burnt umber, it's raw umber. Um, burnt umber has got like a little bit of a more of a red undertone. Um, yes, Kathy, these are canvases from Dollar Tree, and I have already taken off the canvas part because, um, oh, good, Lena, I hope you have good luck with those with your craft show. Um, I've already taken off the canvas part because uh, that would have taken a long time. <laughs> and I nailed down, I went ahead and just hammered down the staples. Hey Linda, good evening. Hey Alice. Um, I went ahead and nailed the staples down. I didn't even pull them out. I did sand them a little bit just because y'all know they can be kind of rough. Um, hey Linda, you're okay. You haven't missed anything. I'm just basically staining um, these canvas frames. Like I said, y'all, I'm going to have it all over me before it's all said and done, but that's part of crafting. Yeah, I just started. These are Dollar Tree canvas frames that I took the canvas off and used the wood part. So I went ahead and did that ahead of time just because that would have taken, it took me a while to get them all done. So, cause we got a lot to do to these little things and I'm hoping that this is gonna turn out like I want it to. And I'm just getting all in the little cracks and crannies. Hey Jean, hey Penny and Donna, happy Friday, happy fourth weekend. Y'all got any big, um, yes. This one is what the extra piece was from that one. And I put the video to this one. It's on TikTok and it's on um, YouTube. TikTok doesn't have any um, explanation of what I did. You just watch it. But the YouTube one, I tell you exactly what I did. Okay. So here's the second one. Like I said, this is gonna take a while. That's why I did a lot beforehand. So yes, if you're not on my text list, if you'll, on your phone, if you'll text JOIN to that number. Um, hey, Janet. Chris, we are gonna make, we're gonna make some lanterns. And we're gonna use the, um, we're gonna use this. So I did those jars about a week ago with this, with that rug slip stuff. And tonight we're gonna make lanterns with it. So I wanted to do another craft, cause y'all know that once I do a craft with a supply that I buy, I like to kind of use it again and again. Um, just so, you know, you don't buy it one time and then you throw it in the drawer and you never use it. Lori, this is Deco Art Raw Umber. It's not burnt umber. But I just kind of swatched out several brown paints that I have to kind of see what color brown that I wanted um, on the little craft stick, just so I would know. But uh, the colors, 
because I'm probably going to put these in my bedroom. I'm kind of changing up my bedroom a little bit. And I'm, these are probably going to go on my dresser. So I'm just, um, so if you miss the jar craft, that was pretty cool. I did that. It was last week, I think. Your son's coming home for the weekend. Cannot have fireworks at all. Well, that's okay. I'm sure you can find some on TV to watch because they don't they show them like at the Capitol and all those places, I think. So, yeah. So, um, I won't be doing any either. Yay, Elizabeth, you got a pickle jar, so you're ready to make yours. I know that's that was a fun craft so we're kind of going to use the same we're going to use that rug slip stuff from dollar tree all right there's number three which it comes in a package it looks like this that's what it looks like um so my shirt it says faith family and friends no faith family and freedom sorry <laughs> i can't read upside down obviously um, hey Darla, so, um, it's from Beware Sportswear. Oh, you're going to see Garth in August. Oh, yeah, I'm so jealous. You would love it. He's awesome in concert, of course. Um, but, uh, my shirt is from Beware. If it's Beware, it's the letter B and then wear.com and, um, you can use the code TTV20. Um, Mary Jane, this one is on YouTube. This one is on my Facebook from Monday night. So you can go and watch the replay of how I did it. And there's also the template for it is in the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal Group. Oh, good, Lori. So you got your rug stuff today. So you'll have... If you like this one, you'll have something else to do with them. So if you have some canvases, then um, you can take off the, the canvas part. And like I said, I didn't go through the trouble of taking out all these staples. We'll just put those toward the inside. I just hammered them down flush. Um, and then I, I did sand them a little bit. Yes, you can only use the code once per email. So, let me. And if you've ever stained one of these frames, you kind of know that the wood stains differently in different spots, but that's okay because I don't want it to look perfected. So you see little spots where like glue got on it or something like that and it's different colors. I missed the whole bottom of this one. But I'm just using a baby wipe. And I think I'm painting more of my hands than I am anything else. Okay, so here's my four. And I gotta do these. I guess I should have done these before I did anything else or did them before the life. I'm doing craft sticks because these are gonna be the bottom. Yes, Mary Jane, it's on YouTube. There's Most of my videos are on YouTube. Um, Yay, Samantha. So you might want to do this craft with it too. Uh, most of my videos are on YouTube. I've just, I've gotten kind of lazy lately and I hadn't been putting my most recent ones up, but I will be doing that soon. It's just hard to do all the things. Um, these are just craft sticks for my bottom. Just the regular size. I call them the tongue depressor size. <laughs> um, craft sticks. And I'm just doing those as well, uh, staining those a little bit too, because this is going to be our bottom. Um, so yeah, this one says, and when my hands aren't yucky, I'll show it to y'all up close. It says, I stamped um, In God We Trust on it. So I wanted it to be different than this one, because that one doesn't have any words. But um, I absolutely love those two pieces. Hey, Hazel. Hey, Sandra. You caught me live. You're okay, Donna. I'm just pretty much staining everything I'm going to use. I'm doing my craft sticks now. And yes, I did measure out the bottom. And I counted how many craft sticks I would need. 
So I went ahead and laid those out and I'm just staining those as well. Yes, Diane, if you see the little red uh, live sign up in the top corner of your screen, then I'm live. Yes, I am live. So yes, I am here, I'm here, I'm here. Thank you, Mary Jane. Look at my hand, y'all. I look like I've been painting furniture and all I'm doing is this. Um, hey, Patricia, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I hope y'all have had a great week. Missed y'all last night. It felt weird not being live because it's my night to go live. And when you do it every day for, I mean, you know, you do it the same day pretty much for two years. It's like something strange. You're like, something is really odd. I'm not live and crafting it just gets to be part of your normal routine and you're like I feel feel off okay so here's all my sticks now I do have <laughs> I do have um this is the size I'm using here is five by seven okay so I have the stuff here to do the smaller one which is four by six, but I don't know if y'all want to sit here and watch me stain all these, but I may not do it right this second, but we may just do one and I may do the rug stuff to do the backs of those and I may do it later. So I'll have two. Hey, Christy. Now I see spots on some of these I need to do. I just hope I can look at my fingers, y'all. <laughs> I'm just going back over some hot spots that I see. Because no matter how good you try to do this stain on, they're always, you're always going to have a spot that you missed. Like the whole inside of this one, the wood just won't take that color. See how it's different on the inside of there? It doesn't look like I got any stain on it, but it's just a different kind of wood. Oh, thank you, Susan. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, um... I'm just just a girl here trying to craft something and trying to show it to all of you. Hopefully that y'all will be inspired to want to do it too. If you don't like messiness, then gloves might be your option <laughs> for this one because it's messy. All right, so here is all my frames. Here is the outcome of that. And now I'll sit here and chit chat while I bathe, I guess. <laughs> I gotta get. Oh, you wore this same shirt today? I love this shirt. Hey, Connie, we're making a lantern. And if you saw me about a week or so ago, I made uh, these jars. Hang on, I'll show you. Um, with the, the, this rug. The rug, non-skid rug stuff that goes under there for from Dollar Tree. Um, we use that on the outside. Well, I'm gonna make some lanterns um, with it to with it tonight with these canvas frames from the Dollar Tree. So, uh, pretty much almost everything we're using is from the Dollar Tree. Oh no, Nancy, bless your heart. Hope you feel better. Okay, I think I've gotten it all off. And I'll have to use my nail brush to get it out from under my fingernails. Oh, Tina, I hope you have a good um, recovery. Okay, so these are the. This is the jar that we did a week or so ago, and this is not wire. It's this from the Dollar Tree. We just painted it to look like wire. Thank you, Delina. It was just a hat day. It was like I was like, ah, I don't want to wash my hair today, so I'm gonna put on a hat and put in a ponytail. So here we are. But that's the lanterns that we did. Okay, so let me show you this right here. So this, if you watch the other night, I cut out that shape of the US and I had I wanted to use it, so I just did the opposite. And I painted my flag and my flowers. And then I put this in the center and I stamped 
the with my stamps in God We Trust, and I put that in the center and did this one. So I just used the opposite. I just did the opposite, basically. But this was a tag from the Dollar Tree, and I drew a line, like, I, you know, where the tag started sloping up here. I just drew a line, and I put my metal ruler down like this, and I took my little X-Acto tool and just scored it a whole bunch of times and a whole bunch of times, and then I, it'll just pop. You can just pop it, and it'll break. And then I sanded the edge, because you can see the edge is not perfect. It's not, you know, it's kind of a little wavy, but I'm okay with that, because um, you really can't tell. But I did the same exact technique that I did um, to that one. I just did the opposite. Hey, Terry. Okay. Uh, this little knot. Somebody, I saw somebody asking me about this little gnome was made by my friend Tanya at Hummingbird Painery. And she, she gifted him to me. He is a, you know, I did the medicine bottle craft uh, not too long ago, a few weeks ago. This is a medicine bottle that, or two medicine bottles that she recycled and she made this little guy out of that. And she painted his little face. I know you can't see his face. Hold on, the light, there you go. She does wonderful faces, but she made this little guy out of pill bottles. But isn't he so cute? So I had to put him up here with all of my, my USA stuff. And Tanya's on here somewhere, and you can go to her page, and you can check her out because she does some awesome um, painting and crafting too. Um, okay, so now that I have this all done and this all done, I'll probably do the little one because this is four by six. This is um, five by seven. Okay, so let's see. I saved my tag. So that's five by seven. And the little one's four by six. And then there's also another size up that's six by eight. So if you wanted to do three sizes, you could. You could go the next size up. Um, and I got my craft sticks. So now we're going on to the next step. And these are done with raw umber is the color I used. But I just took some brown paint I had and took a craft stick and kind of swatched them out just to see what they would look like on this craft stick. So I would know kind of what their, the color's gonna look like. Thank you, Tanya, you are too. Um, so y'all go check out Tanya. There's her page, Hummingbird Paintery. All right, so this, is the non-slip rug underlay. Now that we have, let me do this. <laughs> now that we have the appropriate name, because the other night we were kind of like, what is that called? That's what it looks like from the Dollar Tree. And it is 18 by 24 inches. And I got this today, because my, my Dollar Tree has a bunch of it. Because I have this little piece left from those jars, and I have, um, I did a fr another frame with this piece too that's in my house. Um, so I said, well, I'm gonna go get another piece because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to not have enough. So I just went and bought another piece. Plus I just needed to go to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> All right, so now we got to paint this but I think I'm gonna do this first. I'm not gonna paint this whole entire thing. So I'm just gonna kind of estimate about how much I need. So I'm gonna put some in each one of these frames. So I'm probably just going to cut off. Hey, Bobby. Um, I'm just gonna cut right here a little bigger than what I know I need. Cause y'all know me, you can always cut it off, but you can't add to. So, <laughs> so I always like to do more than what I need cause I can cut it off. So I still have a bunch left, okay? But I like to be able to do two or three projects with y'all when I tell you about something that I like. My nose is one to itch, y'all. I don't know what the deal is. Um. So, uh, whew, 
So I like to do, like when we do something with yarn, I like to do two or three projects with yarn. And now I'm doing, this is the second project that we're doing with the rug, the rug mat, but I did a project two years ago with it and I showed y'all that hey y'all sign. Hey Marsha, hey Von Seal. I know, I love the Dollar Tree too, Shelby. Thank you, Gail. Um, but let's do something I hadn't done in a long time. Um, I recently got to 55,000 people followers, and I so appreciate that. And I don't do this as much as I used to do it, but we're, we're going to pick somebody. We're going to find somebody. Let me look over here. Stacy. Menard, is it Maynard or May or is it Menard? Is it Stacy? Let me just write right here on my paper. Stacy Menard. I'm going to send you a set of my little wood gnomes. There's two in this pack. I'm gonna send you a set of those. If you will message the page when we get done, I will um I will send them to you as happy mail. Because y'all are so, let me get down to the back to where I was. Y'all are so nice about coming and watching and being faithful. And um, <laughs> thank you, Rhonda. And, you know, just being faithful to show up and be here. And it's just my little way of giving back. But yeah, I reached 55000 not too long ago. So, all right. So now, y'all seen me do this the other day. Um, so Stacy messaged me when we get done. This is Elephant by Waverly, and it doesn't have to be chalk paint. You can totally use, um, acrylic paint. Basically what I do is I like a dark gray, a lighter gray, and then a little bit of white. And then I'm probably going to put a little bit of brown wax in it just to make it look old. Okay, so I'm gonna get my, this is just old, my chippy brush, but look y'all, it is brand spanking new. Y'all hardly ever see me use a new one. Usually y'all see me use a uh, old rusty. <laughs> I use them until I can't use them anymore. And then I save them because I do stuff with them. Um, oh, y'all are sweet, so I hope she's still on here. All right. So I'm just gonna get my gray, and we're basically going to paint this up. So I told y'all it was gonna be a lot, so that's kind of why I, I did it down to just doing this one lantern, and I'll do the other one later. Y'all are sweet. So I, I kind of practiced a little today to see how this was gonna look. So I painted a little baby piece. <laughs> And I found out that painting it with one of these is kind of better because I'm not getting the big globs of paint underneath on the paper and it takes forever to dry. Let's see what y'all are saying. Uh-oh, you had major surgery six weeks ago. Goodness gracious. So you're catching up on all of the crafters videos. There's a, there's a lot of them to watch too. So you should have a bunch. Oh, uh, hey, Becky. All right, so I'm just kind of, and yes, we do have to do both sides. Y'all, my nose is itching like right there. And it's not my allergies, it's just, it's just itching. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Dorothy. Y'all are so sweet. I appreciate y'all being here and following along and just being supportive. But I'm just trying to get this done. So see, it's, it's coming along. I know you can't see it very much, but you will be in just a minute. <laughs> so now you know why I've got so many. Um, what do I do with my paint brushes? Um, I do several things with them. Um, I made this one little bouquet of brushes. I showed this the other night. These are my little happy brushes and they're kind of all fallen but that's one little thing I do with them that's so cute <laughs> that's sitting over here in my craft 
of my craft over here by my paint. Um, just stuff like that. I want to kind of make a like a hanging, almost a chandelier thing with a whole bunch of these. I don't know. I've just got something in my mind about it. So I said, Christy, right? You go live and your nose starts itching. Um, it's just like it's tickling right on the end. <laughs> but um, I just save them. I don't throw stuff like that away just because I can find something cute and useful to do with it. But I don't know. But I save these because I think them hanging, if I paint the ends different colors and hang them all at different lengths, I don't know. When I get enough, we'll do something with them. But I use them, I get my 50 cents out of these because I use them till I can't use them anymore. All right, I think I got pretty much, it's gray now. So I'm gonna, um, thank you, Pamela. <laughs> Teresa's nose is itching too. Um, all right, so this is steel. I hope everybody's bottles look like that. Mine always looks so bad. Come on. And yeah, I already shook them up because I've already used it today. And I, one thing I've learned when I started going live was always loosen my tops before I go live because you don't, you're sitting here trying to get it open <laughs> in front of a bunch of people. Okay. So now I just use the same brush. I'm not even gonna even wash it off or anything. And I'm just kind of doing it a little here and there, just getting barely some on there. And cause we want it to look like metal, just how it has the different uh, variants of color of gray. I know my little smiling brushes, it's cute. I'm just a little kid. I'm not, I'm not grown up just yet. <laughs> I like little crazy little stuff. Okay. So I know y'all can't see very much how it looks, but you can kind of see. <laughs> it looks funny on your side. All right. So let me dry this a little. Canberra, Saturday morning there. Oh my goodness. Itchy nose, gonna kiss a fool. Linda, <laughs> we'll tell my husband that one. That's so funny. Uh-oh, somebody's wanting to kiss me. <laughs> Uh-oh, somebody had their yearly mammogram and they gotta have something done. I saw part of that. This thing's starting to make a noise and I'm thinking it might be time to get another one. Hey, Betty. All right, so got that. I didn't put my white on it yet, but because I didn't want to turn it over and it get gray on it. So yes, we do have to paint the other side because it's gonna show through, but it's not, it doesn't take nearly as long for it to, I mean, for you to do the other side because it, some of it kind of leaked through. So this is Elephant, that's my base color, but any dark gray will work. Okay, so I'm just, I kind of go this way and then you have to turn your brush and go this way too to get in all those little squares. Yeah, we're praying for, I didn't see who it was. We're prayers for you and your mammogram stuff going on. Um, whoop, dipped it in the light gray, but I don't guess it matters. So I'm just kind of jiggling my brush all around and getting in all the, squares so yeah can you imagine if I was doing two of these it would it was gonna take me forever so I'll do the smaller one and you know later on I'm getting visitors uh oh see who's coming yeah we're lifting who is it I can't see who it is Janelle okay See where Stacy replied to her. Yes, Janelle, we'll be definitely lift you up in prayer. Um, that everything goes well and good with your surgery. Alrighty. Okay. So I got that. Now I'm gonna go in here with my steel and just 
and I want it to kind of look just like the front side because in a minute I won't even know which is the front and the back anymore. Um, that's what your mother always said. Somebody's coming or visiting or something. It's funny. You just wonder where all those little, those little wives' tales and all that stuff comes from. It's and it's been handed down for so long, and it just makes you wonder. It's like, where did all that come from? And they're funny little sayings too. It's like some of them just don't even make any sense. Yay, Tammy! Awesome. All right, so I'm just giving this a quick dry, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. Y'all are so sweet to be praying for others and praying for her and lifting her up. That's just so sweet of y'all, you know? Sometimes people that you don't even know can be can be nicer than people that you know or even family sometimes. Um, somebody's coming to visit, Catherine said. Hey, Benita, happy 4th to you too. And happy Canada Day to all of our kids. Canadian neighbors. Oh, there's Mandy. Uh oh, Judy said that you got a hole in your britches if you know those inches. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. Y'all are so sweet. Alright, just giving it a little bit of trying to get it to dry. Plus the paper underneath there. This paper's getting really pretty under there. Hey, John. Patricia, I'm making, um, this is the rug slip, no slip, whatever that stuff is at the Dollar Tree that I, that I used before on those jars. And we're gonna make a lantern with frames um, from a canvas. Robin, no, you just, you hadn't missed much. I've just been painting canvas frames and um, now I'm trying to get some white paint and Lord, it won't come out. Okay. And I'm just same brush and I'm basically just going to tap here and there on it. I don't want too much white, but you know how galvanized kind of looks white and spots and has different colors of gray. And so we're going to do that. Yeah, we're lifting everybody up. I think somebody else had needed it too. We needed prayers. We're lifting everybody up that needs prayers. And so many people hurting and sick right now. It's just... Oh, you're welcome, Janelle. You're not all alone. Even though I know you feel like you are, you're not. Um, there's lots of people who I'm sure you have support team. And there's lots of people here that, that are lifting you up. So let me... Get some more white. Just I'm just kind of tapping it, tapping it, tapping it, just to get it to look like metal. I know everybody's so so sweet. All right, because we all have troubles. It's just all different for each person, but they're all the same at the end of the day. Hey, Wendy. Thank y'all for hanging out with me, getting this belt dry. So see, it's all gray and it's not this color anymore <laughs> by any stretch. Look, we changed it. And it takes the paint really, really well. I mean, you're gonna be surprised when you do it of how well it takes the paint. It's more white on this side because it does it really takes the paint well hey debbie happy four to you just don't melt it with your your heat tool okay don't get it too close and stay in one spot and melt it to the table i need to get my silicone mat back out i need to do that i gotta wash it that's why i don't have it out but hey mia I think that's dry. So there it is. It looks like white spots, but it's not gonna look like that once we once we start building our lantern. Okay. Let me put my lid on everything before I um Sabrina, <laughs> you've made some jars uh, with the rug holder stuff. So I'm uh oh good Teresa. 
Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. It don't happen overnight. Just keep doing it, okay? Um, all right, so let's pick somebody else. Let me look over here. Claire Miller, I'm going to send you one of my B signs. If you will send me your ad address, you'll get some um, happy mail. Claire Miller, see? A little B sign. If you'll send me your address. I hadn't done this in a long time. Okay, so there's my, let's see if I can get it close to where you can see it. But it looks like metal. Um, I gotta move this or I'll have it everywhere. Okay, so now I'm gonna move this paper <laughs> or attempt to. Hey, Jenny, you like your Friday night crafting? I know, I used to do it every night, every week on Friday, and then I had to change it. Okay, and I'm not gonna throw y'all's names away, I'm just gonna tear it off. Because <laughs> I've got like. Three layers of, uh oh, three layers of paper on my table because I knew I was going to have to have it. So now we're all nice and clean again. So see, look, y'all can see how it looks. It doesn't look like this anymore. Um, so see, this is how it started, and then we painted it. And the paint, it takes the paint so good. So you can do this any color. As a matter of fact, we did copper that night, and this was uh, just acrylic. Um, acrylic paint, metallic paint, and we did it uh, copper, and look how pretty it turned out. And I mean, it's not coming off, it's on there. So it takes the paint real well. Um, Y'all are so sweet. Hey, Linda, welcome, welcome. B, I know it doesn't take long to get behind in crafting, does it? All right, so here are my, <laughs> Here are my little frames. I have four of them. Um, so I'm going to, let me flip it over. It's probably gonna be the best way to do this. So I'm gonna flip it over. Where's my scissors? Um, yeah, I do too, Donna, I love the copper. And I'm gonna cut off just those little pieces that are sticking out. I don't even know how to say that. They aren't connected to anything. I'm gonna cut these off. Okay, get everywhere. And then I'm gonna put this, cause I gotta measure and cut it to my frame. Whoop. Let's do the same over here. Let's get these little, the little sticky outy pieces. I don't know what I'm calling them. Y'all know what I'm saying. First of all, let me make sure I'm doing this the right way. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me do it this way. So I'm gonna put my frame under here. Yes, Anita, you gotta try the jars. It's so easy. And, I mean, it's all from the Dollar Tree except for the jars and you probably could find a jar at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of measure and I'm gonna cut my stuff. I mean, this can't get much easier than this. Let's see. Doo -doo. This chair makes noises, y'all, when I lean back in it, so it's just the chair. Okay. So this is what it's gonna look like. I know that doesn't look like much, but. <laughs> um, all right, so now I'm gonna do this next one. We'll do all four the same way. Hey, Patsy, we're making um, the lanterns with this rug slip stuff. You know how we made the jars? That jar and this jar? We are, um, I'm making um, a lantern with Dollar Tree uh, canvas frames, the wood part, and that rug slip stuff and some craft sticks. So let me get that there. I mean, this is just simple part. You're just, you know, measuring. I mean, not measuring, but you're just holding it up there and cutting it to fit. Easy peasy. All right, so there's that one. It looks just like wire. 
Thank you, Sharon. Okay, looks just like chicken wire. And I mean, I had people that messaged me and said, oh, what, where'd you get that wire that you did those jars with? And I'm like, it's not wire. <laughs> it is. Um, see those little things that just stick up? That's the one I'm cutting off. So I have that flat edge to have the glue stick to something. Um, I and um, But they asked me where the wire came from. So uh, I'm like, it's not wire. It's actually from the Dollar Tree and it's just this rubbery stuff. Um, okay. Let's go here. So two, this one and then another one. And Brenda, yeah, like me, I can't cut a straight line either, but this is kind of easy because you got the little rows to kind of, to help you out. So yeah, I can cut it with these. <laughs> kind of like I use my tablecloth lines to cheat, but my tablecloth's covered up sometimes. Um, hey, Sandy, let me cut these little thingies off. Okay. All right, there's that one. Now we got one more. And then we're going to put our stuff. Um, oh, that'll be nice, Brenda. Put my, we're going to put this lantern together. All right, so. But if y'all didn't see before me, I, I put it in my post that my friend Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor, she was live and she did a cute craft with a milk can. And uh, she had a little template, a free little template that she was giving out, kind of like I do sometimes, to go with her craft. And it was super, super cute. Y'all have to go check her stuff out. All right, see, so there's that one. All right, so don't that look just like chicken wire? Oh, I just had a thought. That'd be cool if you did it sideways like this instead of up and down. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, my brain sometimes just does weird stuff. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Somebody's father passed away. I'm so sorry. Sherry, I painted, um, I did it with chalk paint, but you don't have to. You can use acrylic paint. I use Elephant, so it's a dark gray, and then I dabbed on steel. And then I dabbed on some white. So it gives it that dimension of the metal, the all the different colors. And I actually was going to do some brown. And I don't know why I did not. But let's do that now. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Because I do want a little bit of brown in there. Um, so I'm going to dab on a little of this. <laughs> Robin, wish I had a crafting brain. And sometimes it's it's kind of a it's kind of torture sometimes so i'm just getting a chippy brush and let me find the edge of my some paper over here and i'm gonna blot some of it off and then i'm just gonna basically hit it a little bit because i was gonna do that and totally forgot but i just basically start with a with a dark gray doesn't have to be chalk paint, but it will it can be acrylic paint because it'll stick to this too. And then I use a lighter gray and then a white. So I'm just dabbing some of this on and it's gonna give it like kind of a rusty look almost. So it doesn't look like just new wire. And, whew, I'm telling you, my son bought me this thing, he's like, is this enough, Mom? And I'm like, honey, this is going to last me my whole crafting career. <laughs> Unless I decide to do a piece of furniture. We were we were talking about it the other night and said, um, I was like, uh, yeah, they're going to be waxing my coffin with that. Hopefully many, many years from now, but <laughs> it'll last me forever. All right, just doing a little brown. Sorry, guys, I kind of got ahead of myself, didn't I? All right, that. And I don't even know where my paintbrush is with the gray on it because it didn't make it in the water bucket. Where's... Oh, oh, I can't throw that away. It's got names on it. Where? I don't know where my paintbrush is. Oh, oh well. Okay, <laughs> I don't know where it is. 
I'll find it. It's right there somewhere. <laughs> uh, Lynn, um, that would be Mandy. Um, her page is Western Grace Home Decor. Home Decor and Design. <laughs> oh, okay, Lisa, I'll go over it again. All right, so I used Elephant, which is a dark gray. Okay, just a dark gray. You can use any dark gray. Steel. And then um, I did a little dabs of white. And then I just put a little bit of antique wax on it. No, not in the paper. I don't know. I'll find it. It's somewhere. Okay, so now we've got our, I know y'all really can't see it until we get it all put together, but it is kind of brown, and it's got different little brown places in it. All right, now we're going to start making our lantern. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh, good, Brenda. You're doing some flags. All right, so now I, I moved these from each one of their frames, so it's probably going to be a little different, but because we know that these frames from Dollar Tree are not all created equal. No, I didn't want it. You want my heat going, but I think I'm done with it. Okay. I don't know, I don't know where it is. But it did not make it into I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it did go in the garbage. Okay, somebody lost somebody. I'm so sorry. Oh, is it on the plate? No. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> do y'all do that too? It's like, where's the scissors? 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 And it's right there, right there. No, I didn't use the same one. I used a different one. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna just put some little, a little bit of hot glue on one end. Get my little tool thing down and I'm just gonna kind of tap it good because I want that mesh stuff to get down into the glue. Oh, Brenda, you saw the Elvis movie? It's so good. Oh, my gosh. I want to see it again. I'm, I'm just tempted just to go see it again by myself. It's so dang good. Okay. Pull it a little this way. Because we are, I'm just doing two sides because we're going to pull it tight. So, I did the bottom and then I did the side. So now when I do the other side, I can pull it kind of tight because we don't want it to look like it's hanging, like it's, because, you know, wire's stiff, so we know it doesn't kind of sag like this will. So, so I'm just going to kind of pull it tight a little bit and put my glue down. And now I'm going to do this side. And you don't need a lot of glue, so you don't have to gob it up so you won't be able to see it from, from the other side when you see through the lantern. Um, Catherine, it'll, it would probably do okay if it was on your porch um, where it was covered. I wouldn't put it out in the rain or the weather. Okay, so there's one. So y'all can kind of see. Let's do this. So you can kind of see how it looks, the, the browns and the grays, and it all kind of goes together, but it looks just like wire. It looks identical to wire. It looks better than this. <laughs> so anyway, so we got that done. Gosh, if I was doing two, we would be here all night long. <laughs> but the second one usually goes faster you know how it is. The first one's, ooh, I'll just touch that glue gun. Um, the first one is kind of the trial, and then the second one it always goes quicker. 
Oh, Teresa, you're going to go see it again? I may have to go see it again. I, I loved it that much. Um, and my mom was a big, huge Elvis fan, and I really think she would have loved it. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. So, there's, I did two sides. I did the bottom and the side, and then now I'm going to go and do the, or the top. I just, I just did two sides, and that way you can kind of pull it taut so it doesn't look like it's just hanging. Just, Kimberly, you probably could use a staple gun, and I do have one, but these little bitty frames, it might would split it. Plus, I just kind of hammered the staples that were already there. I hammered it. I hammered them down in there so you'd have to go in between them. But, yes, you could definitely use a staple gun. Mine's, my one I got from the estate sale for a dollar is down here somewhere. Well, I see it. But, if, but they're so fragile, I'm just kind of scared they would split. It wouldn't tear it. Mm-mm. I didn't know Sure Bonder made one of these, but I got it at a state sale for a dollar. So we're gonna experiment and see. Please don't let it split my stuff, please. I'm just a hot glue girl. I'm just, I can't. So let's see, here we go. Connie, you've been making smash cans? Yes. Mandy, Mandy um, was the first person I saw do them. Um, and that's where I started doing them was from her. With Mandy that I'm talking about, my friend. I'm going to put a little glue, though, here and here. And then I'll just staple. Staple gun scares me. Is it do y'all that way? Like, when it goes to staple, I'm just, like, holding my breath. Okay, got that side, that side. Now let's do this side. I forgot about it till y'all said something. And I'm just kind of pulling that with my little, my little tool. I'm just kind of pulling it and holding it down at the same time, kind of. And then I'm gonna give it a, a little staple. Um, Roberta, I got it at an estate sale that I went to, um, a few weeks ago, and it was only a dollar, and it was still in the plastic. So, I was like, yes, that's going home with me. So, I don't even know, I mean, you can get them. I know Walmart has them. Um, I'm sure Hobby Lobby has them, too, somewhere. But I didn't even know Surebonder made them, but it's Surebonder. Don't even know how old it, old it is. <laughs> I hold my breath every time. Okay. So, there's number three. Let's do number four. I know this is taking forever. Oh, Christy got her an electric one. She's all fancy. I know. I'm, I'm scared of the, the pop it makes. And I'm like, what if it shoots me in the eye? And my husband laughs at me because I'm scared of stuff like that. Just like tools and motors and all kinds of stuff. Oh, Teresa, you got your cans ready, but you haven't tried it? Oh, you'll be making a bunch of them after that. Tammy, I don't know where it came from, but it is Sure Bonder. But I got it at a state sale, and it was still in the package. It's brand new. I mean, I didn't even know that they that Sure Bonder made them, so I don't know if they still do. But, um... I mean, it's kind of cool to have when you need it. <laughs> All right, so let's staple it. The staple's just for good measure, I guess. I know, I got my dollar's worth tonight out of it. Exactly. I got my dollar's worth tonight. But it's just good to have. This one's a little long, so I'm going to trim off all those little things because you know I cut them to the frames and then I moved them around and did the brown on them. 
I know my husband has one too, and it sounds like it, it's scary. It's pow. <laughs> this one is quiet. I was I was surprised when I first tried it. I was waiting for it to be this big loud pow. <laughs> And it wasn't. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Last one. Okay. <laughs> yes, it makes me jump too. I just don't like stuff like the like when people use the nail the nail guns and they pow pow and it, it scares the daylights out of me. All right. So now we've got to assemble this. Now I got these little things all over the place. Um. Okay, well, let's, let's just, let's go find some, I'm scrolling the wrong way. Let's go find somebody else. And then it stops on, so-and-so's watching. Barb Jones. Where's my pen? Barb Jones. If you will message me, I will send you a be kind sign too. So message me your address, and then you'll get some happy mail, happy mail. Okay. Oh, does it go down? Okay. <laughs> you were looking for your glasses? I, I do the same thing. Okay. So now, we've got to make this go. Now, I can't staple this. Claudia, it's only seven forty nine ninety four or something. That's not bad. So yeah, that's not bad at all. If you just need it for little things, is it sure bonder? Because I didn't even know that they made that. Okay, so this is what we're it's gonna look like, like this. So now I've got to glue my sides on. All right, I got glue strings and everything else. Okay, so let's start here. And we're gonna construct, maybe this won't be as, as bad as it was the night that I did the church. That thing, <laughs> that little church that I built, that thing like to did me in. So I'm gonna sit here and hold this down. Cindy, I used to do it a lot, um, so I just decided I was going to do it tonight because I never did anything for my 50,000 followers and then because I was having back surgery, and then I just reached 55,000 a couple of weeks ago. Um, hey, Ellen, and so I just decided tonight was going to be, so I was just going to do something. <laughs> we are making a lantern, I think somebody said. Yeah, there is a delay, Teresa. Like, like for instance, I'm just seeing y'all saying congrats, and I said it like, it's like 45 second delay or something. I said it like a minute ago. So it's, it is really strange, the delay. Okay, so now we've got two sides. So now let's do, so remember, you want this side on the outside and, the the ugly side on the inside now see what i'm talking about when i say all the frames are not made the same they're not the same size if y'all can see you can see it there this one's taller than this one is it's they don't butt up straight but it's okay let's see i'm gonna do it this way just i'll just have to do the best i can with it because they're not perfect. They're not all the same. And if you start working with these, you'll see they're all different. And you don't want a thick line of glue because you don't want it to ooze out one side or the other. So I think I'm going to make it level on the bottom. So when it sits, it's going to be level on the bottom. chair. I've got to get my husband to do something to this chair. You need a craft room like this, Kristen. <laughs> Kristen, if you saw this room, you'd be like, oh my gosh, it's a hot mess. Oh, yes. My um, crafter friend, Tanya with Hummingbird Paintery, 
she gifted him to me. She actually did him on a live and she gifted him to me. Yes, Lisa, they are from Dollar Tree Canvases. This size here is four by six, but the size I'm working with is five by seven, but I do have four by sixes ready to go and I'll probably do them because I want like a set of two. And then they make a six by eight canvas and then they have eight by 10. So you could go up as big as eight by 10 if you wanted to with Dollar Tree canvases. All right, so we have three sides. Gonna have to kinda, all right. Where did I get the piece? I don't know what, sh what are you talking about? What piece? Okay, all right. Somebody said something about what this was. This is the rug slip mat stuff from the Dollar Tree. Um, that. Non-slip rug underlay. Okay. Yeah, the Jenga blocks are, yes, Jerry, they are, they are never the same size. They're kind of, sometimes they're different sizes. All right, so now we gotta close it in and we gotta make this. This is the fun part trying to do two sides at once but we're gonna make it happen we are going to make it happen thank y'all for hanging out with me while i'm constructing and making and building and i forgot what the top oh i see top and bottom was but i got it now because i want my bottom to be at least level uh-oh, Jean, your, fro your phone froze. All right, so I'm just kind of squeezing these tight. Yeah, you can't expect square corners. All right. Looky, looky, looky. It's my little lantern. All right, so this was my top because, like I said, they're not exactly square. Um... Yes, Gail, I do. I use Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks. After I try these, I will not go back to any other kind. I love them. They hold everything. Thank you, Addie. Mesh. Alicia, it is the non-slip rug underlay from Dollar Tree. This rubbery stuff. And I painted it to look like um, to look like wire. So see, it's just that mesh stuff. And we did jars with it about two, about a week or so ago. I made uh, these lantern jars. So now I'm doing lanterns with uh, frames. Oh, thank you, Donna. It's fun y'all hanging out with me too. I love hanging out with y'all. Okay, so now, where are my sticks? Oh, got my paint sticks, or crap, not paint sticks, craft sticks that I've already stained when I stained all of these. Y'all watch me stain them all. <laughs> Rhonda, it does look like a birdcage, doesn't it? Um, when I made the, so I'm cutting the round part off. When I made the jars, uh, everybody goes, oh, it looks like a cricket box. And it does look like a cricket box, um, which was kind of funny. And then some people don't know what a cricket box is, but if you do any kind of, or have done any kind of fishing, it's something that you keep crickets in when you go fishing. All right, so I'm just cutting it off. I, all I did, y'all saw that scientific mathematical equation I, I did. I just laid it up there and cut it to the size I want. So when I was doing this before the live so I would know how many I needed, I basically acrobatically held all the canvases together and then drew it out on my table, a square, and kind of laid my sticks on it so I would kind of halfway know how many sticks I needed. And that's how I got how many I needed. And I don't even need that many. So this one takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And then we gotta have a brace. Thank you, Wendy. All right, so all I'm gonna do is basically use this one as a guide and cut all the other ones to the same size. And this is gonna be the bottom. So it's not, I'm not really gonna, not too, too worried about how it looks. <laughs> a cricket box, yes. 
Oh, hey, Sherry from Indiana. I'm glad you're here. Okay. Now they're sticking together. Oh, there's glue strings everywhere. Okay. These are five by sevens, yes, from the Dollar Tree. And I just took the canvases off. I, nailed, I just hammered all the staples down into it. I didn't even bother pulling them out. Because um, Zoe said, why do you catch crickets? Um, people use them, they keep them in this box, this little mesh looking cricket box for when they go fishing. And um, it's made to where they can't get out. But it's mesh like this. It's kind of funny. If you Google it and look at it, you'll see, you'll be like, oh yeah, because most of the time they're round. So that's why the jars really look like it. Um, but... That's why it's called a, yeah, you use them for fish bait You when you go fishing. Oh, what kind of scissors? These are Fiskars. And they're, I think they're actually called like snips, but they are Fiskars. F-I-S-K-A-R-S. I never can spell that right. Um, so, um. But they, my husband got these for Christmas for me like a year or so ago because they cut all kinds of stuff. All right, so now I don't even think I'm going to need a little brace on the bottom but because I'm not going to be putting anything heavy in here. But we'll see. So that's how. Let me line them up because I'll get down here to the end and they won't, they won't be right. <laughs> Thank you, Shelby. You're okay. I just appreciate y'all hanging out with me on a Friday night. Or it's not my normal night, but we're all good. All right. So, yeah, they fit. Okay. So, now I'm going to start gluing. Linda, they're Fiskars, and I think they're they're on Amazon, and I they're not scissors. They're called, like, snips or something else, but they are made by Fiskars. Yeah, so I will. I'll blow it when I get through, and I dropped my, dropped it on the floor a minute ago. I'm making a lantern, and that one just got stuck down from my excess glue. I'm making a lantern. I just got it upside down right this minute because I'm gluing on the bottom. So you could make, um, you could make several sizes of these because they have different sizes at Dollar Tree. Mine had it over an abundance of canvases. Kristen, I go live on Monday nights at 7.30 Central and Thursday nights at 7.30 Central. But last night something came up and I couldn't go live and I had to move it to tonight. But I always go live on those nights usually. The crickets will chase, chase you if they get out. <laughs> you know talking about crickets now? It is turning out cool, isn't it? Fairy lights in your jar. Sherry, I, you see where mine are? <laughs> They're right there, but I haven't put fairy lights. I have some. I just haven't done it. But yes, fairy lights would be so pretty in there. You'll let me craft any night, Judy? Well, thank y'all. Y'all are sweet. Um, I wish I could go on as more than I do. It's just... Um, like just preparing for this today took a while because I had to rip off all those canvases and it takes, it takes a lot to get prepped for something sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't just depends on what I'm doing or, you know, what kind of craft it is. Last one, you're going to make some for your back porch. So I would definitely use the Gorilla Glue Sticks. Um, if you're going to do this, if you're going to put it outside. Fisker snips are on sale right now at Amazon. Ooh, so they are called snips. Like it doesn't, they have like this little safety thing, almost like bush pruners or something. But um, they have that little thing. But I mean, they're, a lot of crafters use them and I like them. And let's see if I can get my, I don't want to have to bend over because of my back. Here we go, pruning snips, there you go. 
trying to get all the glue strings away. Because I got some. This looks so cool. Now I want to do them all in all the sizes. <laughs> but we got to do a handle. We got to do all that. I'm just trying to get all this glue strings. really cool. Doesn't that look cool? I mean, look at that mesh. That looks just like wire, if I had to say so myself, even though I did it myself. But it looks like wire, does it not? And this is how it started out. <laughs> this is what it looks like now. Paint. Um, and is it Aneva? I, I mean, it should, but I don't know if you have Mississippi heat like we do. Um, so I don't, I don't, I mean, I haven't put any of these outside, so I don't know. You could try it. Noreen, it does every once in a while. I just have to be real careful with it. Okay, so now there's our bottom. There's the inside. You can see it looks all cool, doesn't it? Now you definitely could do this to the top and do you a top. Um, but then, of course, if you glued it, you wouldn't be able to put anything in it like battery operated candles or lights or greenery or whatever you want, or crickets. <laughs> so I'm gonna take some rope and I'm trying to think, do I wanna do the, how I want this to look, I don't know. I don't guess it matters, does it? Does it matter? This is the longer side, but I'm gonna do it on the smaller side. Yeah, okay. So let's see, a good length that. Hey, Aneva. Oh, you're in Tennessee, so it gets pretty hot. Gail wants all the sizes, too. Oh, Diane, good, because you'll have enough to do at least this one and the, the little, this size, um, and you'll have some left over. So, I'm trying to think. Okay, so there's, I have this rope, and then I have, of course, y'all know I have this rope, too with the other piece of rope stuck to it. Um, I don't know, I don't think the white's gonna look as good. But, I mean, it, it might, but I think I like the brown better. Don't y'all like the brown? Bobby, you could, yeah, you could use black mesh if you want to. Definitely could, just try it, or you could always paint it. Another frame, cover it with a handle and remove. That's cool. I'm just gonna go basic and simple and do mine like this. And I'm not even measuring how long the handle is. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. And y'all know how this stuff is. Once you cut it, it starts doing its little ravelly, ravelly thing. So I'm gonna hurry up and glue it on. We'll put some glue up in the middle there so it won't go anywhere. And I'm gonna hold that down. Yeah, I like the brown too, Jan. I think it brown looks better than the white. You know, if and if you did a whiter wood, I even thought about whitewashing these. You could do the white and it would look great. Kind of look nautical looking. Yeah, it looks more nautical. But you could dye this rope too. You could dye this any color you wanted to. With water and acrylic paint and you'd be good. All right, I gotta take this tape off because you know they put tape on it. Oh, Gayla, you saw another crafter use lace. That's cool. Yeah, probably was borrowed from the shabby tree. She does a lot of lace stuff. All right, so y'all know it starts doing its little unravels really quickly, but right before your eyes, and you're like, how did that happen? So I just put glue in there and kind of hold it. Yeah, Corby, it would look better if you whitewashed it. Janet, are you in the um, my reveal group? Maybe somebody will post it in there and it'll be um, 
somebody will post the link to it in the group and it'll be there. Because I don't know if you can post it. I think you might can post it here. Okay, so here's my... Let me get go right across. And put my little dot. Because I'm not going to be picking these things up by the handle for sure. Thank you, Billy. Um... And I gotta show y'all a trick that I did today, all by myself. Cause y'all know we did, when we did these, I had those little tacks that are Hobby Lobby, 99 cents. The label looks funny color in that light. 99 cents clearance, those uh, upholstery tacks. And I couldn't get that little, the tack part off and just use that part. So I got constructive and I bent it with a, my hammer. I bent it today. I put on safety goggles. <laughs> so I bent it. And then I took my husband's vise and I put it in the vise. And I bent the little tack part the other way. And it popped right off. Look at there. Oh, so now I just have, they look like pennies that are domed. <laughs> but now I just have that part. So now I can just glue them right on my rope. And not have to worry about the tack part, even though I could tap it into the wood, actually. But I was thinking, if I start hammering it on here, I might break my whole thing, you know? So, I was kind of scared to do that, so I broke, tried to break them off. Oh, she did do it with lace? I bet that's pretty, though. I bet it's really pretty. Oh, yeah, you could. You could tie a knot, Janice. You could make it look even more rustic, tie a knot. I just have these little upholstery tacks. And um, I found a way to break off the tack part. See? Look how stinking cute this is. But can't y'all see a hole the next size down? And then there's another size up from this. So there, it would be taller. And then there's an 8 by 10 So if you wanted an 8 by 10 and a 6 by 8 hold on. Let me grab the 6 by 8 so y'all can see. Because I got one right here. Because I was kind of debating on what... Hold on. I know I got an 8 by 10 Here's an 8 by 10 Okay. Because I was debating today on what size to do. So, um... Whoop, I'll fall out of my chair, guys. Okay. This is 8 by 10 And then this is... Six by eight, okay? So, six by eight and five by seven. It's just a little bit bigger, okay? So, but if you had eight by 10, it's gonna be a big, a big one. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be big. I mean, think about how big that's gonna be. But still, if you were setting this like in front of your fireplace or up on a shelf or something like that, this would be really cool to make a big one. And then this is six by eight. Um, yeah, that's six by eight. So six by eight, five by seven. It's not much of a difference. But then you've got four by six. So if you want to do six by eight, five by seven, four by six, <laughs> We're like, duh, 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 duh. but I mean, you could, and you could have three different sizes or two sizes, but can y'all see this at Christmas? Like with some greenery coming out and some hot, some red berries. I mean, I can just see the possibilities are endless. Hey, Laura, um, Noreen, <laughs> they're just laying out here because I was out over here deciding all this today. So that's why they're laying all out here. Um, you need a chicken to put in there. <laughs> Chris, I need a little baby chicken. Um, but anyway, but I mean, can't you see these for Christmas? Can you see these stained red, the wood red, and then this just like this and do, um, for Christmas? I mean, that would be so, so pretty, um, in front of a fireplace just your entryway in front of your front door at Christmas. Um, yes, Brenda, and you could use paint sticks for the bottom. Um, cause the bottom's going to be pretty big. I mean, you've got, 
eight inches this way, eight, eight, eight. So it's, you know, it's gonna be pretty big. Um, can, you can put two, two or three candy and something. Um, yeah, it would look so good at Christmas. Any holiday, I mean, really anything would look so cute. Fall, fall leaves coming out of here, put pine cones in here. I know some of y'all don't have pine cones. Anything, acorns, put you some battery operated uh, the candles in it and put like fall leaves down in the bottom, put uh, acorns in the bottom, little bitty pumpkins all down in the bottom. How pretty would that be? Yeah, Holly, all year long. And I am gonna make the tiny one, but I knew if I did two of them to start, when I started this first one, I was like, oh my gosh, if I do two, I'm gonna be here till midnight making them. But yeah, so look how cute just these two are gonna be. But you could even leave the handle off and use this to put stuff, in, you know, whatever. I know it does, it looks just like real wire. I mean, if I do say so myself, I think it looks like I bought wire at the, at the co-op. But how stinking cute is this gonna be? Put stuff in. I love it, love it, love it. But you just have to use, you know, I mean, this is just this. Dollar twenty-five, and I still have that much left um, to use, and I still have part of the other. Here's the jar. If you want to go back and watch this one, it was last week, I think maybe. But this is a pickle jar. Um, it still smells like pickles, <laughs> even though it's been through the dishwasher. Um, but this is my pickle jar. I don't know what kind of jar this is, but I did this with copper uh, acrylic paint. So it takes the acrylic paint really good too. But look how stinking cute this is. Just, you know, the possibilities are endless. And then I did a frame with uh, the background was this. And I put cotton on the side. It has, hey y'all. Um, so you can do whatever, all kinds of stuff with it. But these just look so cool and rustic. Um, oh, you're okay, Vicky. You had your grandbabies. Uh, made some with paint sticks. Yes, that'd be cute, Tina. It's a beautiful cricket cage. My cricket cage. <laughs> but, I mean, look at the bottom. But I even thought about doing the top. But then you couldn't put anything in it if you glued the top down. Does that make sense? But, okay, let me ask you this. Because this just crossed my mind. Because I do have this over here to do. But I thought, what if I put... How, how would this look? Cause I have these from Hobby Lobby and I, they just caught my eye and I thought, well, I forgot that. Um, okay. So feet or no feet. Carol, the Uncle Sam, he is um, my friend Tanya from the Humminbird Paintery. She did him on a live of hers a few weeks ago and um, she uh, she gifted him to me because she's local to me. Well, she's in Memphis. She's not far from me. So, do y'all think that it needs feet? Uh, Diane, it's copper. It's from Michaels, and I want to say it's their Craft Smart uh, metallic paint. But it's, it's it's not coming off. I mean, it's on there. You know, it took it really well. Sydney said, "Oh yes, feet." <laughs> <laughs> so you like the feet? I totally forgot about them, and they're sitting over here in this bag from Hobby Lobby. Oh, Jean, bottle brush trees and fairy lights. Yes! So they need the feet. It needs feet. And for the little lantern, I have... I had... Here they are. I have these little feet. They're, they're small ones with the flat side, or you could just use beads, but they're a lot smaller, but that's what they're gonna look like. Huge jar lantern at the grocery store. They wanted $49 for it. Oh, see? Yeah, you can make a top and not glue it down. So do the feet. So cute. I forgot about the feet. Forgot. And I just glanced over here and here they were. And I was like, oh, the feet. Okay, what color did I use? Now I gotta get brown again. <laughs> I 
gotta get my brown paint out and paint myself brown. Okay, so we're gonna do feet. Let me get all this stuff. Vicky, I couldn't read all of Vicky's comment about the Uncle Sam. But yeah, uh, Tanya with the Hummingbird Paintery, she did him. So, so y'all gotta go and see uh, her page because she paints all these faces and so, um, so, so cute. Somebody said the feet are too, too big. I like it with the feet. I just totally forgot. I don't have any any smaller. Yeah, you could use the split balls too. But I might as well just go ahead and add them while I'm here. These little boogers are hard to paint. But this is um, raw umber again, the same color I used before. Oh, thank you, Patty. You're so sweet. I will tell her you said that if she's not on here. Okay. Yeah, I think, so I'm thinking that's gonna match. Went for a motorcycle ride. Oh, I bet it was nice weather. Summertime is the time to get out and do stuff. I love summertime. I don't like being stuffed up in the house in the winter. This isn't gonna take but a minute. All right, get some more on this one. They're not easy to get covered. <laughs> You like it both ways? I see I do too. But now I think it, it kind of looks all sassy with the little feet on it. Might as well, huh? Got them, so might as well. Y'all might like it once I get them on there. Yeah, put them on a stick. I know, but they don't have a hole all the way through. They just have a little bitty hole and I'm almost done with them. I'm gonna have to bathe again. Because y'all know I've got this brown paint all over me. And it's called um, Raw Umber. I just um, swatched out some of my brown paints to see what color brown I wanted my lantern to be. Because now I'm kind of thinking I don't want to put these in my bedroom. I'm thinking I want to put them somewhere else. Square with the corner cut. Tammy, I don't have those. I don't have those. I don't know if I've seen those. Get them dry real fast. Oh, Candace, yeah, you could use wooden thread spools. Um, they actually have lots of little stuff at the wood pile section. I just happened to have these in my drawer and I was looking for something. Go with in there. So now um, this is gonna be hard to do. It'd be pretty if I would've painted them copper. You know, you only think of that after the fact. Okay, so let's glue these little suckers on. Okay, Sometimes it's all about the details what Mandy says too. It's just about the little things that you add to it. Hey, Diane. Somebody says they like the feet. So it's not completely from the Dollar Tree. So this is from Hobby Lobby. So it's just a little something something. But you don't have to add the feet if you don't want to. I don't know what that was. Stuck to my glue gun. Okay. All right, so there they are. Let me get rid of the strings. Strings, strings, strings. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. Okay. Ta-da! Look at it. <laughs> Look how cool it is. And they match the sides really good, actually, because it's kind of splotchy like the sides. Oh, you could hang earrings from the sides. Uh, this would hold up okay, I guess. 
um, somebody said hummingbird fabric. No, it is the, I don't know what that is, but it is non-slip rug underlay from the Dollar Tree. Now Sheila needs to make a lantern. I like it with the feet. Look, y'all, I don't think I'll ever get rid of glue strings. <laughs> Look how stinking cool this is. I could, oh, Corby, yeah, we could dry brush it with copper since these are copper. Look, how, look at that. Look how cute. Kind of like it with the feet. It just gives it a little sassiness. Copper would be nice, yes. I might have to do that. Yes, everybody likes the feet now. Oh, it's so cool. All right, I'm gonna pick one more person. Let's see, I'm gonna look over here. Mary Shaw, sorry I'm so late, I had a phone call. So Mary Shaw, if you will message me um, your address, I will send you a Be Kind sign too just for being on and watching and all the things. Earring displays, yes, that would be cool. So just send me your address. How could you stiffen? You could stiffen it. You could probably soak it in Mod Podge and it would stiffen it. But you know, after it lays like a certain way for a while, it kind of gets in one position. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. I'm glad y'all like it. I do too. But doesn't it look like metal? It's just crazy how it looks just like metal. But the brown, adding that antique wax really does make it look, where's my jar? <laughs> like this looks like, like real um, gray metal. And see the difference? That antique wax kind of makes it look a little more rustic and not as new metal. See the difference? And they were the same paints, except for the antique wax. So yes, it was the same paints. Yes, Vicki, that's what I'm thinking, like a battery operated candle. And like in fall, put some pumpkins or something or acorns around it at Christmas, put some berries and some greenery in it. Oh, it'd be so pretty. Oh, hey, Patty. You're okay. You can always watch the replay. This is the rug slip stuff. Like we did the jars. Um, and it is frames that came from canvases from the Dollar Tree. And rope. And craft sticks. And these. Let's see what they call these. Ball knobs. These are one and one half inch is what I used. And I just had these in my stash. But you can use whatever, spools or anything, really, to make feet. Oh, thank you, Judy. It's, um, Patty, it is uh, canvases from the Dollar Tree, like these. They come in all the sizes. And I took the canvas part off. I'm trying to find a piece of canvas, but I can't find them after I tore them all off. And then you just have this. The frame with the staples and stuff and um, I stained them with craft paint and we cut painted the rug slip stuff to mat I mean to match to look like metal so it started off looking like this and then we painted it and cut it to fit and glued it and then glued them all together cut my craft sticks and then added the rope and it's easy Yes, you could use wire rope. Yes, Tammy, that's a good idea too. Oh yes, Judy, you could you could put those these tacks, like Judy just said, you could line them up all the way around the top. That would look cool. Or even the um that white um that metal ribbon that Hobby I mean Hobby Lobby has it and Dollar Tree sells it if you can find it. That silver metal uh, ribbon that would look really cool too. Yes, and you could use fancy knobs. There's so many um, possibilities that you can do with these, I think. Um, but like, can't y'all see these stained red at Christmas? That would be so pretty. You could do red, you could do a six by eight red 
do a white wash, and then do a blue one for uh, Fourth of July. I mean, there's so many, um, so many different things you can do these with. You too, Christine. Um, I somebody asked what I'm gonna do with all these pieces of canvas. They're actually all piled up over here. Here they are. I will save them. I will use probably, um, y'all know I like to stamp on fabric. I'll use this for when I do a, this back side, the muslin looking side. I'll use it to probably like stamp, use my rubber stamps for a project. I'll use it for something like that. Um, ah, everything's gonna fall. Um, the tacks, where's my pack of tacks? My pack of tacks. <laughs> um, it says these are three quarter inch decorative tacks from Hobby Lobby. I know that colored label looks funny, but they were on clearance for 99 cents and there's 20 of them in this pack. That's right, Dana. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do this so y'all can have, you can get, you can get that mat and you can make these and you can make these. You know, I like to kind of use the same material, but use it in different ways um, when you get the same, you know, do the, sa the same product, but you can use it for different things. Same to you, Joyce. Thank you, Pamela. Oh, Sharon, I try to make it easy to understand. I, I just kind of explain it how I would want somebody to explain it to me. Um, you, Charlene, you could. You could put, you know what else would be cute too? Is if you put um, the metal cookie sheets in, in here instead of this. And you know, you have people punch those little holes and y'all, this y'all can do so much stuff with this. Um, you too, Carol. Colors, I painted the rug with. Okay, so you want a dark gray. I painted the whole thing with this dark elephant gray. And it doesn't have to be chalk paint, as long as you start off with a darker shade of gray. And if you don't have a darker shade of gray, get you some white acrylic paint and some black acrylic paint and add it, add a little black to your white and get the shade of gray that you would like and paint the whole thing. And I painted it with my chippy brush so you, you'll see, so you won't get all gooped up underneath there on your paper. And then I dabbed some lighter gray on it and then I dabbed some white on it. And that gives it that mingledy look, like galvanized metal looks. And then I brushed on a little bit of antique wax. And that just makes it look the rustic look rather than it just looking like, let me turn it around where the seams in the back. See how that looks like gray silver metal. And then this looks kind of rusty and brown metal. And this looks really, really gray. And I did that, did the same technique on both, but I put antique wax on this one. You're gonna try and make one. It's, I promise it's not hard. I, I promise it's not. It's so easy. You too, Marlinda. Well, I'm gonna go also, guys. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a super fun fourth. Please be safe. And um, I hope you enjoy it and celebrate this wonderful country that we live in and happy Canada Day to all of our Canada neighbors. Um, yeah, this one's five by seven, but I'm going to do the little four by six. So thank y'all for being here. Thank you for making my page what it is because without you, I would just be by myself. <laughs> so you are what make my page. I appreciate it and um, thank you for everything. I love y'all. Have a safe fourth. And I will see you, it may not be Monday night because it's a holiday. So it's probably going to be Tuesday night because Monday's a holiday. Um, so we'll see. Oh, yeah, Brenda Cinnamon, oh, the rust. And Mandy just did that. So go watch Mandy, what she did tonight too. Western Grace Home Decor. Go see what she did. She did the rust. All right, guys. Love y'all. See y'all probably Tuesday night. Bye, friends. See y'all. Happy 4th.